Hi, how y'all doing? <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. And also, I need to cut my hair. It's long enough where it can do that. I don't think so. <laughs> I am super excited because we are putting up Christmas decorations! Boogie, we're putting up Christmas decorations! Okay, well, that is just a mouthful of breakfast. I love you, but you just ate breakfast and I don't want that all over my face. It's 9 in the morning, I'm gonna go do my workout downstairs and then we're gonna get the day started. Wait, right, let's go work out. You have a little workout, buddy? You wanna get on your bed? I've been working out every morning and it just really stemmed from feeling unhealthy. I just didn't work out at all. Now every morning I get on the treadmill and do 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, uh, 13 incline speed, 3.2 to 3.4. I used to work out in the mornings like all the time when I lived in LA and it's nice to kind of get into that habit again and start my day off with this. So let's go sweat baby, woo! I'm done my workout and I'm probably gonna finish up by doing some squats in the shower. It's weird but I hate sweating and when I'm in the shower, I don't feel like I'm sweating. <laughs> and then I will check in with y'all after. Put your hand in the air if your finger has a huge gash in it because you were trying to slide the protective thing off of the straight razor to touch up your mustache. Ding! I'm really surprised it's like not bleeding that much because that was some Bravo shit. That was a deep cut. So the strenuous part of the morning is done. Now it's time to have some fun. Thank you. Snaps for Chris and his slam poetry, yes. I was gonna say I can't remember the last time I vlogged, but I actually started a vlog in the fall doing like cute fall shit. But I never finished the vlog, so I think I'm gonna put it on Patreon, so this is like my first vlog in a minute! Now this is gonna be my second Christmas in my new house, and I'm very excited because I went a little crazy on Christmas trees. I grew up every year with a real Christmas tree that we cut down, and I just really miss that. One of my friends posted about their Christmas tree, and I went to the website, and oh my god, they look so real. So I bought two that were on sale. The one for my living room is the type of tree we always cut down as a kid. Oh, I just love the holidays and Christmas because it just feels like a time to really take stock of your life. Y'all are like, wow, who is this? <laughs> Definitely someone who had a mental breakdown two days ago. It's the post-breakdown clarity. I'm saying all of this because the two trees have been sitting in my garage for two days. I haven't even opened the box to peek at them because I wanted to save it for the vlog. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let's go unbox the trees! Why does this look so real? <laughs> I'm so shook. Honestly, my first impressions is that it's not as full as I was expecting. Oh, also the tree came with gloves, so... She's a pretty tree though. I think once there's ornaments and stuff on there, it'll be real cute. But I love this Christmas kitchen vibe. Ready? it is time to bring in the tree for this family room. And oh my God, I'm gonna be so emotional. I cannot believe I have the same tree that we used to get. I know I've got to fluff it and put ornaments and shit, but it is not as full as it looks online. I'm sorry, what the fuck is this gap right here? Okay, no, we're not gonna jump to conclusions. I'm gonna keep fluffing it. I looked at the one in the kitchen and it's so much prettier. Oh my god, look at the little Christmas tree. Tis the season to hold the faith or something. Fluff them up a little. The one in my kitchen, I'm obsessed. Obsessed with. And then we get to this little fatty. Hi fatty. It honestly looks better on camera, but there's just like a lot of gaps in it. I have no doubt in my mind once there's ornaments on it, it will look good. I'm just kind of confused. I have the star for the tree. I feel like a Disney adult, but for Christmas. It's really crazy. Oh my god, this star is so pretty. I bought that star because it had no glitter. However, the gold paint rubs off and turns into what? Glitter. Mm, trying not to think about it. <laughs> trying not to think about it. That's all I'm thinking about. For this tree in here, I want it to be like a vintage Christmas classic chic. And then the one in my family room, I kind of want it to be more of like the family ornaments, the more like 
kitschy, fun, Coachella sunnies, ooh. <laughs> Ah! Got this gorgeous tree topper from Target, and so I'm thinking this will be perfect for this because I'm gonna put ribbons on the tree. I'll remember the five minute craft video, and then I've got this three eighths of an inch red, like old looking vintage ribbon. I'm gonna tie bows and put them um, just like hanging every so often. Guys, I put on all the bows. Not ready. My Christmas tree is a dream come true. My gramps always had these little mushrooms on the trees, so I bought a bunch of them that clip on. These bells have been ornaments in my family as long as I can remember, and I finally have them, and I figured they were perfect on this tree. In German tradition, here's the pickle that I love so much. This is just everything I wanted and more for this space. Oh my god, wait. I think I have my Nana's actual... I have a bunch of stuff from my Nana's house. And I have the pickle from their tree. I just got full body chills and I'm getting a little sad. Every time at Christmas time we'd run into their house and be like, I'm gonna find the pickle. I'm gonna go add this to the tree and uh, just really special. This is why I love Christmas. Time to do the one in the family room. I get you. I'm about halfway through my tree in the family room and I just got a package and I think it's the wreath for my front door. I bought it on Etsy because I just felt like Etsy knows what's up. Oh, it's literally stunning. Oh my god, this is so pretty. It looks so real. Merry Christmas. Oh my god, I can't wait to put this on my front door right now. Look at this, the tree in the background, this little tree right here. My little present right here. I think she wants to W-A-L-K, so I'm gonna go take her on one. And then we're gonna get back to this tree right here. She's honestly looking really pretty. Do you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? Her feet tops, I swear to God, kill me. I'm going over to my mom's in a little to help her with her decorations, but now I'm getting into just the more sentimental ornaments. If you don't have these on your tree, don't talk to me. This was Booger and I's first Christmas. Andrew got that for me. My little brother got me this gold encrusted dog tree because it was uh, Booger and I's first Christmas in our new house. Love sentimental ornaments. And I love that my mom is here. Hi mom, say hi to the hi. vlog. You look so pretty. Is my tree not gorgeous? Is it giving like German Christmas fantasy? Like German Christmas fantasy. Yes! It's a little bit later and I went over and helped my mom with her tree and now we are going to dinner at a restaurant that I love in Delaware called Bardea. Oh my God, it's so good and I am so hungry. I'm finally busting out these leather gloves that are so tight and sexy. This is my outfit. I'm wearing a brown bag with a black outfit. I don't care. Let's go pick up my mom. So it's the next day, dinner was so fun with my mom, very much needed. As a part of this holiday kickoff extravaganza, I was in Petco and Booker, guess who has some new outfits to try on? I got this like little Santa dress with a hat, and then for like more of a holiday party, I got this chic like soft sweater. <laughs> I'm just picturing Booger at like a holiday party socializing. Oh, you're very excited about it. Booger is like the first dog that really like doesn't mind being dressed up. I'll show you guys Booger's closet after this. 
<laughs> Dude, the sentences coming out of my mouth right now are insane. You ready? You are so... You're so ready. You love getting dressed. Hold on. <laughs> you're so cute in this book or I'm gonna die. Oh my God, You're and you're showing it off? Girl, you were meant to be a fashion influencer. All right, we have one more. Very good. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you a cute little baby? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys Booger's closet. So in here I have all of her different outfits and costumes <laughs> and wigs. I know that this isn't normal, guys, okay? Bought these like little infant hangers for her clothes and her wigs and stuff. Oh my God, I forgot about this Christmas onesie. Oh my God, the Sunday school stuff is everything, obviously. Oh my God, and then there's this Christmas vibe. Wow, she has a lot of Christmas stuff. So I've got about an hour and 15 minutes till my next meeting. And I figured I'm gonna use this time to really try and get this mother tree done. So let's go! I have five minutes until my meeting and I think I'm done. Compared to the kitchen one, this tree, I hate it. Okay, I guess it looks good on camera, so yay. Why are tree stars just the fucking worst? The one in the kitchen stands up perfectly. This one is ass. I mean, like, I like the star, but I don't think it's been straight a day in its life. Same. I also have to find tree collars for them because right now you can just see the stand and that is not the vibe. I'm done with my meeting. I took Booger for a walk. I came back and buzzed my hair. Oh my god, I forgot how much of that bitch I feel like when I have a fresh buzz. And now I'm getting ready to leave to go to dinner with Becky Taylor and Dory. And then we're going to see the Beyonce movie! I got tickets right as they released, so we are the first showing. This is my outfit. I'm obviously gonna wear white sneakers. Let's go! Ah! We're going to a restaurant called Terrain. It's BYOB, so I have a bottle of B. And then we're seeing the movie afterwards. And I'm super excited because us four went to the Philly stop of the tour together back in July. And it was like her first US stop. So it feels like we're going to like another concert. All right, I gotta get back to Bump and Renaissance because that album, I'm dog! Whoa! Arr, arr, arr. Renaissance film was iconic. It was media. It was literacy. It was liberation. It was a film. <laughs> Which is the reason I'm gonna be up for the next 17 hours. Oh my god, truly, that was like a three hour workout class. I have never grinded a movie theater seat the way that I grinded a movie theater seat. Forever in awe and grateful for Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter forever. So I haven't vlogged in like a week because I had a rough week and just felt that I wanted to keep that off camera. It's no secret that I've really been mentally going through it. Yeah, I just, the last week I was really in my head. I was spiraling, but we're back. It's 7.45 at the border. <laughs> I've been awake since five. I don't know why. It was like one of those things where like I woke up and felt like I had 50 servings of caffeine. Mm. While I was severely depressed, I didn't really do any more decorating, so I'm planning on doing more today. I had to get a heater installed at my house, so today is the last day of that, so I am kind of happy I'm up early because I have to work out before the people get here because I'm not working out in my underwear. I'm in the room over from where the heating guys are working. I'm down for a lot of things, not down for a free show. Look at this little coffee mug that Essence sent me for my birthday. It's like a giant fat coaster and a little cup. Yesterday, I felt so motivated to clean my office. You know what, I'm just gonna show you guys. It's actually crazy. 
I just like I'm actually able to finally use this space I took my iMac and put it away and now I just work strictly off my laptop obviously I have some stuff still to like clean up and put away I ordered a bookshelf finally for here and so this will get cleaned up a lot oh my god the day I start vlogging again we get our first snow of the season. Oh my god, look at the snow on the ground. Well, on the deck. So, it's the next day. I didn't do any decorating. I got into a foul mood and then went to a friend's house. I leave for San Francisco tomorrow for my show. But, oh my god, today? Y'all, it's really snowing today! Like, are we joking right now? It is so pretty! Boogie! You wanna go outside? And play in the snow. Do you want to play outside in the snow? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. <gasps> it's snowing. Good little paw prints in the snow. Bookie, it's snowing. Book, come here. I gotcha. <laughs> Ready? Gotcha. <laughs> you want a treat? You want a treat? <gasps> nice. You want a treat? <laughs> nice. Guys, I am just the biggest liar. I have done no other decorating. <laughs> like, literally none at all. I guess I've just been living in the moment. <laughs> However, it is Friday, and tomorrow is my show in San Francisco, and I'm heading to the airport in an hour and a half. I'm all packed. Who even am I? I am gonna try and do some decorating now. Decorating done. I'm very excited. However, I'm more excited to celebrate today's holiday, which is Pink Friday too. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that my vinyl came. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, well, my iPad case just got here, so... <sighs> that was a bummer. I don't know, I'm not catching any feelings, because, bitch, I gotta catch a flight. my show. I went over my set last night and I feel a little bit more prepared. Mm. I want to get some coffee and go to Target and get some lotion because my hands are dry. Who knows what else I'll get into. Back from Target and I've got four hours to have to be at the venue for sound check and rehearsal. I'm really just gonna kind of hunker down or buckle down or buckle up. I don't know what the f I'm doing, but I wanna really just focus on having the best show we can have. All right, I will talk to you guys later. I am ready to go. I am literally shaking from how much caffeine I had to the point where I literally was laying in bed and thought, huh, this is it. Someone's gonna find me dead in this hotel room. And it's not even from anything fun or scandalous. It's from literal too much caffeine. Anyways, the car is downstairs, so we really have to get going. However, I just feel like I'm forgetting stuff. I hate this feeling, oh my god. I just got out of the Uber and... Ooh. Um, okay, 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 okay. So we just finished rehearsal. <laughs> Sound check. I worked out all the camera angles, got all the lighting set up. Now I am multitasking. I'm not only eating gluten, but I'm also ordering more food. And I'm rising my stand up. I'm a triple threat. And so were the three drinks of caffeine I had today. 
that was really a triple threat. When I found out Chris was coming to San Francisco, I said I'm immediately coming, like immediately. So I'm so happy to be here. A glass of white Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. Not that there's a red one, but. <laughs> That looked like a really sad shot of a starving artist. <laughs> nope, just a sober artist. Well, not anymore. I'm so nervous, so naturally I'm finding comfort by standing near the kitchen. It's like, not that I'm nervous, it's just that I might shit myself. They wanna wait five minutes. People are I don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't. Hi, everybody! Oh my God. I can't hear you, but I'm assuming you said I love you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't really have an ending figured out, so I really might just walk off. That was not a joke. There's no way I'm gonna fucking remember any of this. Like, I was already feeling insecure about my, like, segments. You were great. But we're getting dressed. We have a whole new beast to conquer. It's called Stand Up. Please, though. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I feel fucking lit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Thank God for I brought my vape pen on. I was like, that just gave me such an out. <laughs> I was like, made some milk and sure, <laughs> that's the end, doll. <laughs> So, it's my last night in San Francisco. I was supposed to be hosting Ariana Maddox's book tour stop. She got Rona, so um, that got canceled and I've just been hanging out the last few days. I was gonna vlog yesterday because it was like my day off, but I woke up and the first thing I saw was that the comedy club didn't record the audio on my microphone at my show. So I kind of just like mourned the loss of that episode in a way. I don't know how to describe it. I was so proud of it. I'm in a better place now. I feel lucky that the show went great. That was the, uh, like, that was the most important thing. The audio came back like five minutes into my stand-up set and I'm kind of sad because I made some jokes tailored around San Francisco and I just, it would have been nice to have the whole thing. The show biz, babe, I don't, I don't know. I'm trying not to think about it. Audio on the microphone that I had the audience members who I brought up on stage talking to was recording. So apparently you can like hear some of it and maybe it'll end up on Patreon, but right now I'm just kind of packing and um, that's that. Hi, it's me, the world's worst vlogger. As you can see, I am back from San Francisco. I landed in Baltimore at like 1.30 in the morning and then got home at three and then recorded my podcast episode at four in the morning. And then today is Friday and I've been in back to 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 back meeting. Honestly, almost forgot what I was saying there. I'm done, I just did my nails. And I'm about to go over to my mom's house because we're making Christmas cookies. This morning my bookshelf came, so I mean obviously I'm still gonna put all of this shit away. But all of my books are on there, I'm figuring out the top part of it. It's literally just so pretty and I love it!
good morning. Uh, it is December 16th and I am serving a big old cup of mom proudly watching her kids open Christmas presents. No, what I am proudly watching is my daughter grow up because it is Booger's seventh birthday! It's their seventh birthday, Book! Booger, how do you feel being a seven-year-old? Do you want to go run around the backyard and say hi to your friends? Let's go run! Let's go run! Come on, let's go! Hey guys, it's Booger's birthday, say happy birthday! Alright, we had a little puppy party and now I have put a little chicken snack in a Kong. We call this playing. She's obsessed. Stay. Stay. Good girl. Who's a good girl? I just got back from Target because I had to run some errands and I figured I'd get Booger a little present. I just thought, you know what, it's Booger's birthday. Let's get her a little piggy. Hey, birthday girl, you want a present? Do you want a present? Yeah! <gasps> oh, this little piggy got eaten by the birthday girl! I will say, it definitely is seeming durable so far. I filmed a video for Patreon of me wrapping my presents, and I actually almost just lost my house this evening to a fire. I was wrapping presents and had a piece of paper sitting right there and a candle right there. It caught on fire, I looked over, grabbed it, and tried to run it to the sink. It burned my hand and my hand is really stinging. And then I dropped it on the floor in front of my island and stomped on it. This is as clean as I can get the bottom of my slipper. My cabinet is like a little burnt right here. I'm just really, really, really shaken up. That was horrifying. And of course, like anything in my life, it was on camera. So go to patreon.com slash Clemens to see that. I tried door dashing from a bunch of different grocery stores to rotisserie chicken, however they're all out, so I'm gonna try running to Costco because I wanna make this happen for Brooke's birthday. The bag has been secured and I am going to put together her birthday dinner. You already smell what's happening, don't you? What do you think's happening? What do you think's happening? I filled this bowl up with rice and chicken and I've packed it down and I'm hoping to make like a little, oh my God. Hey, birthday girl, it's calm down. Hey, look, 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 you're getting way too excited. I've been putting out fires all day, literally. Kind of triggered by fire. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear booger. Happy birthday to you. Hold on, you have to blow up the candle. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good girl! Yay! There you go! Oh my gosh! Okay, bug, 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 bug. Hey! Okay, okay, you're going a little crazy. Slow down. Breathe. Here's some. Here's some rice. Here's some rice. Go for it. Bug! Oh my! <laughs> I feel like I just got robbed. The last of events for Booger's birthday are commencing. Now she loves a dental chew, and so obviously we have to do it. Do you want a dental chew? Do you want a dental chew? Go! Good girl. Good girl. Alrighty, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I love you guys and hope you all have a very wonderful holiday. Stay tuned for a new episode of Unhinged with Chris Clemens this week. And be sure to check out patreon.com slash Chris Clemens where I almost burned my house down. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah.